Okay, hello, this is the uh, required practical for working out the density of, first of all we're going to do regular objects and then afterwards we'll do irregular objects. So first up we've got a block of aluminium. Now to do this we need to measure the three dimensions. So we, we need to, the best way to do this you find is to start from a corner and if you choose one corner you can measure the three dimensions which would be that dimension that dimension and then I'm just going to, have to flip it so you can see that dimension. Now you should really be calling these some kind of height, width and depth. It obviously depends which way you hold it but if we hold it that way you would say that this dimension is the height, this dimension is the width and then this dimension would be the depth. So if we do that you can just use a normal ruler and we'll measure, first of all I'll measure the width and we've got the width as about 7.9 centimetres Okay, we'll hold that up in a second so you can see it. We'll measure the height, and the height I make to be pretty much bang on 5 centimetres. So we can write 5.0 centimetres, and then the depth. Okay, it's the, the depth is sort of away from you into the camera, so if I hold it like that you'll see it. And again, that's pretty much bang on 5 centimetres. Okay, so you should know to work out uh, volume you do height times width times depth. So if you put all those into a calculator, I'll even do that here. So you, you trust us, 5 times 7.9 times 5 gives us an answer of 197.5 and the units for that are going to be centi uh, centimetres cubed. So that's what we've got. Now you should know from your lessons that the formula for density is density equals mass divided by volume. So we haven't got the mass, so over here I've got a top pan balance, so I'm just going to put the block onto it. So you can see it. I've been told you can't quite see it. Okay, and that, that's settled, and this is 547.8 grams, so if I put that on here, so we've got everything, 5 Four seven point eight grams. So we've got the volume was 197.5. We've got the mass as 547.8. So our formula of density equals mass divided by volume. We can say 547.8 divided by 197.5. So if I hold that up and I will put that in the calculator while we're talking, 547.8 divided by 197.5 gives us an answer of 2.77 2.77 now the units are going to be, you need to think about the units we had mass divided by volume, our mass was in grams so this is going to be grams and our volume uh, was in centimetres cubed so I'm going to say centimetres cubed so 2.77 uh, grams per centimetres cubed is the density of that aluminium block Okay, so we've worked out the density of the larger aluminium block, and what we could now do, just to prove the point, we could work out, or you can work out, the density of the smaller aluminium block. Now what I've done, I've measured the dimensions, and they're on there, and the dimensions are the height is 4 centimetres, the width is 3 centimetres, and the depth is 4.9 centimetres. So what you should be able to do is work out the volume, hence my question mark to give you something to do and then we have put it on the top pan balance and this has got a mass of 160.9 grams so using the figures that you calculate uh, you can do the mass divided by the volume we've done it and we got an answer of 2.74 grams per centimetres cubed which is very similar to the previous answer within experimental error and really what you, to, to get these answers exactly the same, I would have to use something better or more accurate than the ruler to measure the lengths of these. But remember, the density of both these blocks, because they're both aluminium, should be, is exactly the same because it's a property of the material rather than a property of the block itself.